Welcome back, survivors. Today we're going to take a look at Paladins, and we're going to take a look at the latest Patch 28, which uh, changed a lot of dynamics, actually. Um, some I'm kind of... I'm a little so-so over right now. Um, took a look at Victor, the uh, or Victor, uh, last night, and kind of saw what he was all about. And let me tell you, he is Call of Duty in a MOBA game. Um, he's he's kind of crazy. Um, it, frankly, he he just he just tears nonstop. Let's start off by taking a look at his skills that he does come with his uh, his his kit. Uh, first one, he's got his assault rifle, which is your basic attack. Secondary attack yeah, is iron sights. Your first ability is a frag grenade. Secondary ability is called hustle, and your ultimate is called barrage. Now, what makes him so damn powerful is actually his his basic attacks. Uh, assault rifle, we'll just go through that first. Fire one shot every tenth of a second. That deals 70 damage. Bonus damage on that is the first four rounds of your magazine each deal an additional 50 damage. Uh, so right off the right off the bat, first four shots, you're you're dealing uh, 120 damage right there. That's that can stack up pretty good. Now, what makes him completely overpowered right now is his secondary attack, uh, or iron sights, where you look down the barrel of your gun, just like Call of Duty, you gain improved accuracy, the thing has no recoil whatsoever, but in turn, Victor moves 40% slower. No big deal, right? So, let's just take a look at some of the, the iron sight play. Now, as you can see with iron sights, the gun does not move. It stays completely stationary. There's no recoil whatsoever. As soon as you have your target locked on, it's goodbye for them. Now, the 40% movement speed reduction, yeah, you've, you've got to be somewhat uh, within range. They, if they have any sort of escape, they can kind of try and get out of the way there. However, this brings into Hustle, one of his abilities. We'll start off with Hustle next. Hustle... You lower your weapon and you run 65% faster. Now the thing is with this, there is no cooldown to it, guys. If you're taking some serious damage, guys, you need some cover. You just hustle your way out of there, heal up, hustle your way back into the battle. It's like nothing ever happened. Uh, same with if you want to catch up somewhere, you died, and for whatever reason you got knocked off your horse, someone was back there, and you want to hustle your way around the corner, you could you could do that as well. There's no cooldown to this. There's no penalty for using it. So if you're not using it constantly, you're you're doing the wrong thing. Hustle works very well with uh, Frag Grenade. With uh, the Frag Grenade ability, you can hustle up towards someone, chuck a grenade, and hustle yourself all the way back, do some damage, and and uh, wait for the cooldown. So the ability itself is you throw a Fragmentation Grenade dealing up to 550 damage, guys. Holding the Q key, or whichever key you bind it to, will cook their grenade and reduce its detonation time. Uh, health drops do reset the cooldown of frag grenade. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, bonus damage. Affected enemies take 15% increased damage to you for 4 seconds. So let's just think about that guys. You can hustle up there, chuck a grenade, hit them, you grab a bonus damage off the frag grenade. Now you hit for assault rifle, you're getting bonus damage for the first 4 shots if you hit them with assault rifle. You see where I'm going here with Victor? This champion right now, I believe, is a little overpowered. Um, we haven't even hit his ultimate yet, guys. Hustle, um, I'm going to guess they're going to nerf that and put a cooldown on that for sure. I, I could be wrong, um, but in, in my opinion, I think Hustle should uh, have a cooldown. So it, it kind of marries well with the other abilities that people have for escapes. Like, you don't see a barrack uh, having an escape with that you just can constantly hit. Uh, yeah, it's not as crazy as his, but it's still an escape at the end of the day. And finally, guys, we're going to look at his ultimate ability, Barrage, in which you bring up your targeting binoculars, and you click on enemy players to guide an artillery shell to their location. Victor's movement speed is slowed while channeling bar uh, Barrage. Uh, essentially, guys, you bring up some binoculars, you look at who you want to kill, you click, you Time keep clicking till they're dead. Um, essentially, from what I've, I've used, you get three shells, uh, and they deal about a thousand damage a piece. And because of the constant damage you keep pumping out as Victor, your ultimate comes up so frequently. Um, I, I don't think I've seen a game yet where a Victor didn't have more than 15, 16, 17 kills. 
Um, it's just the way that this game is with this, this, this champion right now. So that's a brief rundown of Victor. Uh, go and uh, grab a copy of Paladins if you, you haven't done so already and uh, give them a try. Uh, especially if you're not used to this kind of game or maybe you're playing Overwatch right now and you kind of you're on the fence about Paladins. It's free to play guys. The beta is wide open right now. You can go get yourself a beta key at uh, I believe it's paladinsgame.com. I'll make sure to throw a link in the description below so you guys can go grab a copy if you if you'd like a copy of it and you've never played it before. And if you do have a copy of Paladins, uh, go try Victor out if you haven't done it already. Throw in the comments below what do you guys think of Victor. Do you think he's overpowered? Do you think he's underpowered? Is there another champion in the game which you think is more overpowered right now? Uh, let me know, guys. Just throw it down there and below and uh, start a discussion on that. Make sure to throw this video a like if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't like it. And uh, as always, guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you next time uh, next week with another video.